Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm John Simpson. Today we're going to show you three different ways of advancing a hose line up the outside of a building. First we're going to start out with a New York roof hook. Most of the apparatus have a hook or a pike pole on their apparatus and we can use that rapidly to extend the hose up there. Second we'll talk about a commercial style bag which some firefighters may or may not carry in their uh, gear. Easily just drop it down, connect to the hose, and advance it up the building. Third, and demonstrate a homemade uh, rope bag utilizing an uh, old plastic jug and some uh, 50 foot of rope and some carabiners. It only costs about $12 to make that. Now we're going to utilize a New York roof hook. We're going to pass the hook up to the firefighter on the second floor. The ground firefighter is going to hook the nozzle on the hook. They're going to pass it up to the side of the building to the firefighter on the third floor. Once they get the nozzle, they're going to pull the hose over, take it into play, feed as much hose onto the uh, floor that they're going to need, and then they will eventually tie it off. In the second example, we're going to utilize a commercial style throw bag. The firefighters are going to wrap the one end around the railing so we don't lose the rope. Then they'll eventually toss the bag over to the firefighter on the ground. Once on the ground, the firefighter will peel out the rest of the rope, connect our hose with the rope, and they will pass it to the firefighters up the side of the building. You can see that we used a girth hitch around the bail of the nozzle. That way, if the line gets charged, that the bail will be kept closed by the rope. The ground firefighters keeping the nozzle away from the building so it doesn't bounce off and do any damage to the nozzle. As the firefighters on the third floor get the nozzle, they'll disconnect the throw rope and they will advance enough hose in there until they need it and then the hose will eventually be tied off to the railing. In our third example, we're going to utilize our homemade drop bag. Firefighters are going to again wrap the rope around the top part of the railing they're going to drop the system down, firefighter on the ground will extend the rope out until he gets to the end of it. This time he's going to make a girth hitch around the section of the hose where the hose will be folded over. As you begin to raise the hose, you will notice again the firefighter on the ground puts a little tension on the hose so as the nozzle is not bouncing off the side of the building. Once the nozzle is reached over the railing, again the firefighters will extend the hose into operation on the floor if needed. We've given you three easy examples of extending a hose line up the exterior of the building. There are many other ways, but we found this to be the easiest. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm John Simpson.